Welcome to Zoom TV, the show where we explore everything that flies, drives and floats and invite you along for the experience. Basically our mission is to give you information so you can make a better purchasing decision. On today's show we take a look at a couple of the most popular small hatches on the market, starting with the Suzuki Swift Sport. The Suzuki Sport is lighter and stiffer to give that real sports car feel. Thanks to City Toyota, Alan and I look at the compact hybrid from Toyota, the Prius C. This is the fourth addition to the Prius family. It's also the smallest, least expensive and most fuel efficient member. And our Wasanda celebrity hitchhiker today is an Olympic freestyle skiing gold medalist, Lydia Lassler. What is your opinion of the worst car on the street and why? Oh, I think those Tiranas are still around. And oh, they just... really? So get comfortable because it's time for Zoom TV. Welcome to the very beautiful but extremely windy Melbourne Broadford Raceway. Roscoe, how you doing? Mate, I've got big nails through my boots into the ground to hold me here. Well, you need it, mate. You've lost a bit of pull. Oh, yeah, I cool. like it. He's looking good. Now, Suzuki Australia, Roscoe, have flown us over here for the Suzuki Swift Sport launch. Yep. Now, straight off the boot, what do you think of it? Well, I reckon it looks good. Big, bold, aggressive front on it. Those headlights look fantastic, and especially those rear taillights just seem to mould into the bodywork. Now, Ross, guys, cars get smaller. Something that I like the manufacturers are doing well is making their features in the car bigger, which gives their cars a lot more road presence. Suzuki have done it very well with the Swiss. Sport. Exactly, and what they've done is put bigger wheels, bigger brakes, and more horsepower and more torque under the bonnet. But more economy as well, better economy, improved economy. The last Swift, 7.3 litres per 100 k's. This Swift just sips fuel, Roscoe, sips at 6.5 litres per 100 k's. Another thing, 30 kilos lighter than the previous model. Now, Roscoe, does 30 kilos really make that much of a difference? I mean, you'd know. Yeah, and it's... Uh, <laughs> yeah, good one. It's power to weight ratio, of course, you know, and, and that makes a big difference. Now, Roscoe, they haven't just made changes to the outside, mm. they've also made a few changes on the inside. Quite a few, in fact. OK, yep. now let's go through them as we take it for a drive. Right. It's the time we choose our car, and I think the viewers at home will agree, you've already chosen your car by coming out in the pink shirt. So I think you go on the yellow car, I'm in the white one. This is not to go with a stripe down the back, is it? Well, I don't know, Roscoe, as long as we stay friends, that's all I care uh, about. Well, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> The all-new Suzuki Swift Sport is available in a six-speed manual and a highly sophisticated CVT automatic. The manual starts at just $23,990 plus on road and the CVT auto with steering wheel mounted paddle shifts is just $2,000 more. You know, the Suzuki Swift Sport is a good looking hatch. In fact, it is a hot hatch. Its sporty theme starts on the outside and continues right through the interior. It's a comfortable drive, and for a small four, it actually packs quite a sting. The improved 1.6 litre VVT four cylinder engine delivers 100 kilowatts of power. It's mounted to the Suzuki Swift's more rigid body, which equals better control and driver confidence. You know, my mum would always say you could tell a lot from a person's shoes. With that said, the Bridgestone tyres that come with the Suzuki Swift are 17 inch. What does that tell me? Well, Suzuki want to guarantee you the safest and most comfortable ride. To add to the experience, you get all the expected creature comforts and more. Sports bucket seats, red stitch quality upholstery, leather steering wheel with mounted controls, Bluetooth, iPod connectivity, cruise control, keyless start, full electric windows, six speaker CD stereo and digital climate control all come with the sports as standard. Do you want to get more out of your diesel? Well, let the team at United Fuel Injection help you. They're the experts in diesel fuel injection, turbocharging and vehicle performance technologies. Make an appointment today and get more talk out of your diesel at unitedfuel.com.au. 
If you're an enthusiast and you're part of a motoring club and you've got an event coming up, we want to know about it. Go to our website, zoomtv.com.au. Click on the events page, tell us about the event. We'll give it a plug, we might even come along. After the break, Alan and myself look at the environmentally friendly, very economical Prius C, thanks to City Toyota. That's next on Zoom TV. Today we're going to take a very unique motor car for a ride. It's the environmentally friendly Toyota Prius C. Okay, but first explain to me why we're walking now. Well, because of the environment. We're doing some good. We're not affecting the atmosphere and all this sort of thing. Look at this motor car. What do you think? Well, the first Prius that I was introduced to looked actually bigger than this, but I'm told this is bigger on the inside. It is, yeah, a lot more room. I love this colour. The car looks terrific and, of course, the environmentally friendly impact. A lot of us these days should be, most of us are, concerned about our environment. This car takes care a lot of that. I know you'll do some stats for us later, but this is a very economical car to run, yeah? Yeah, well, Alan, you'll be proud of me today because I've done a lot of research on this car. You'd be proud. <laughs> well, There's I a lot am. of big words I'm uncomfortable saying, like uh, I did some stats. So I'm now a statistician. A statistician? Help me with my words. Statistician, Aaron. And you'll find that I'll prove that this car is not just economical, it's also an investment. How is that for work? It is, mate. It's a great saving. Look, uh, it's got all the boxes ticked. So are we going to talk about it or are we going to jump in and drive it? We've only got the one, so I'm going to let you drive it first because cool. I respect you. Okay? Do you? Yeah, and let me get the door. I've got that recorded. Let me get the door. Look, can I'll I ask you in. one thing? Can you respect sure. the little speed signs? Because <laughs> the office is sick of all the little speeding fines we're getting. Oh. And drive it safe. <laughs> With the highest fuel economy ratings in its class, Toyota Prius C Hybrid is a perfect match for city commuting. This is the fourth addition to the Prius family. It's also the smallest, least expensive and most fuel efficient member. Pushing aside the green credentials for a moment, let's take a look at the price, because it's stunningly low. The standard model with automatic air conditioning, a large touchscreen for operating the audio system, smart key entry and ignition, a multifunction trip computer and seven airbags is priced from just $26,680 drive away from City Toyota. For those of you with a social conscience who have previously considered buying a hybrid but haven't been able to afford it, will be lined up outside City Toyota as this story goes to air. And here's something else to tempt you. The front seats two adults comfortably, the rear row is adequate, and cargo space for a hybrid hatchback is really very good. The clever and green new Toyota Prius C uses the latest development of Toyota's hybrid Synergy drive system. In its latest, most refined format, it's more efficient than ever before, as well as being smaller and lighter. Fuel consumption is rated at just 3.9 litres per 100 kilometres. As mentioned, Toyota Prius C has seven airbags, and just as importantly, a full suite of electronic stability aids, so you'll never need to see those airbags. The best place to see Prius C is at City Toyota Perth and Netherlands, or follow the links from zoomtv.com.au. The ultimate in car design is to have a wheel in each corner of the car. This, of course, gives better balance and handling. Suzuki has just about achieved this with very little overhang on the front and practically nothing at the rear. When you hear names like GT, RS, Evo, STI, Sports, you expect you're going to get something a little bit extra for your money. Well, I'll tell you what Suzuki does deliver. The first thing you get into the car, you see these magnificent sports seats with these high lumbar supports that hold you in position. Great for going around a circuit like this, but also great for going around those tight corners and roundabouts at home. The new Suzuki Sport boasts bigger brakes to handle that extra power. Also included is seven airbags for those that overdrive it. The suspension is also upgraded with enhanced front suspension design, combined with stronger spring rates front and rear, and with more high tensile steel added into the body construction, the Suzuki Sport is lighter and stiffer to give that real sports car feel. Ah. What do you think, old man? Well, hey. young, well, young bull, you go first. <laughs> well, I've got to tell you, it's a very thin car, but driving around the racetrack, I love how Suzuki have made it feel a lot wider. I don't know if they've lowered it or if it's the Bridgestones, but it definitely felt like it was sticking to the track. It's a nice little car, and of course, 
these conditions we are putting it under quite a bit of strain and as you'll notice when you go into the corner there's a lot less body roll with the new suspension set up, the springs dampers are stronger um, and also there's a new design on the front suspension. Mm -hmm. The whole package is, is, is good because also the body is actually strengthened as well so the whole new package for the Suzuki Sport comes up number one. Very rigid and talking about rigid when I did get into the driver's seat you know with the sports seats I thought it's, a, it's gonna be a bit of a rigid ride, a bit of a firm ride but I was impressed it was very smooth out there, very comfortable drive. Well it is sold as a sports model motor car so you have to expect it to be a little bit harder um, and for the person that wants that little bit more performance they've got it with the engine, suspension, a pretty good package. Now yeah. Ross, something that I did like as well was the big chunky leather steering wheel because mm. it makes the small car feel a lot bigger than it is. And to finish it off, the pedals, the aluminium look on the brake and clutch pedal, that just finishes it off. A little bit of, yeah. little bit of bling. bling, you've always got to have a little bit of bling. bling yeah. Now if you'd like to know more about the Suzuki Swift Sport, go to suzuki.com.au or Ross. Zoomtv.com.au and follow the links. There you go. Coming up after the break, we find out just who is quicker, Ross Duncan or myself, plus who's responsible for the scratch left on one Suzuki Swift Sport. That's next on Zoom TV. The Prius C is powered by a four-cylinder, inline, Atkin cycle, chain-driven, double overhead cam petrol engine with variable valve timing plus an electric motor which works with the petrol engine to produce incredible economy. The Prius C's fuel consumption is definitely amazing. So quite simply there's two motors, you've got an electric uh, motor and a petrol, standard petrol motor. The two work in parallel, uh, the petrol motor works traditionally as you know it, mm -hmm. the electric motor works on a regenerative brake system so it charges itself. No more extension lead or powering in overnight. In combination, it achieves a 3.7 litres per 100 kilometres in fuel. OK, now that's incredible. The other thing that's incredible is I've looked everywhere for this battery. The cabin still has heaps of room. There's heaps of room in the boot. Where is it? That's right, Aaron. A Prius C is brand new off the shelf, as you know, and it's a smaller car. And in doing that, we need to try and keep the interior space as big as we can. The battery sits under the back seat, so you never know it's there. Uh, and they say with hybrid technology, the technology is only as good as the technology of the battery. And Toyota are well advanced in improving that. OK, so it's pretty fair to say some powerful systems are small. Great things come in small packages, Aaron. OK, so I need you to listen up because I've done some homework and I have some facts that could make this car far more appealing for you. You see, in 2010, the Australian Bureau of Statistics did a study and they believe that the average family car consumes 13.8 litres per 100 k's. They also believe the average family travels 14,100 kilometres. And going on today's market price of fuel, which is around $1.52 per litre, that family would have a fuel bill annually of about $3,000, roughly. Now, if you bought this car, which averages 3.9 litres per 100 k's, your annual fuel bill could be less than $1,000. So you'd save almost $2,000. How impressive is that? So there you have it, proof the Prius C is a green machine and at the same time a great investment. It's also very safe, it's compact, it's stylish and above all unbelievably economical with absolutely no compromise. Well there's the man, you never know who you're going to bump into I tell you when you're out. Hey, good looking car. How are you mate, get in. Very well. What I thought I'd do is I thought we'd wrap it up uh -huh. on the way to find somewhere we can have some lunch. What do you reckon? Oh, sensational idea. You're paying, of course. I forgot my credit card. Oh, oh dear. Well, Hungry Jack. <laughs> anyway, well, we saved some money on fuel today. <laughs> Seriously, what did you think? Oh, mate, I loved it. I'm, I'm converted, actually. I didn't think I was going to like it quite as much as I did. It's a terrific little car. It is. The visibility, great. Yep. It's got all the mod stuff, but all the safety. Plenty of power for zipping around town in and very comfortable, mate. Now, do you know why they put the screen in the middle? No. Well, it's all to do with your line of sight, see? Because oh, yeah. see how we're actually looking straight ahead? Well, it's just a matter of dropping down. I've glanced right. down and you've still got complete uh, vision of the road ahead, which is very good for someone of your driving capabilities. But And you do have a driver's licence, don't you? I do. Well, good I think point. I do. Excellent. That's but, a start. But, Alan, those people out there that do have driver's licence and want to buy one, where do they go? They go to City Toyota. They can dial them up on the net at citytoyota.net.au or, of course, follow the links from, what's the name of that show? zoomtv.com.au. And do you know what? No. City Toyota have just released a brand new Android and iPhone app. Beautiful. So you can do it all from there. It doesn't get any better than Don't that. Don't get any simpler. Now, you know, around the corner here, there's a great uh, place to eat.
Well, you're just in time for the business end of the show. Ross, this is what I've been looking forward to all day. Yeah, good. You got used to the track? No, not really, but it'll be right. Okay, you've got yep. the race suit on, so you're really, oh, yeah, yeah. you've yeah. gone full mode, you've mm. gone full racer. Now, Andrew, are you happy to be the timekeeper for this legendary race? Absolutely. <laughs> I just want to wish you luck. May the best man win. No putting me off, Roscoe. Good, good luck, mate. Three, two, one, go! What do you think? Uh, I can't see it. Can I just change that with it? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be honest, mate, that felt pretty good. You up to it? Look good. Look good. Oh, Look that good. Was, that was, just good watch out fast. for a couple of those corners, mate. They might get the old man by surprise, that's all. Ready? Three, oh. two, one, you're off! <laughs> Bad for a, an experienced driver, mate. Oh. Gotta tell you, mine felt a bit better. No, I got uh, a bit of a, a loss on the start line. I think I coughing and sputtering. Mate, mine was feeling a little bit, I don't know, like one of the wheels were a little bit lighter on. I don't know, for air or something. I, this is a gut feel. Yeah? Just felt a little bit a little bit loose on the corners. You wouldn't mm. know anything about that? No. Did you check the tyre pressure? <laughs> <laughs> well, I did before I got in the car, Ross. Right, no, but well. I think it's time we officially found out who the winner of the first ever Zoom Off is. Yep. So let's get Andrew in here. Andrew, break it to him. We'll break it to Andrew. him easy, what do you reckon? Well, Aaron, your time was 128.6. One pretty minute, 28.6 seconds. That's good, Ross. That's mm. pretty good. That's good. Sorry about that. Good effort. Good effort. Pretty good effort. Ross, <laughs> your time was one minute, <laughs> 20. Three point oh, six seconds. Five seconds, mate. I am. I am a sport. Thousand dollars, mate. I'm a sportsman. So there you go. I'm a man of my word. Thank you very much, Roscoe. I think he paid him a thousand dollars for the time. Now, if you'd like to know more about the Suzuki Swift Sport or any of the Suzuki range, go to suzuki.com.au or even follow the links from zoomtv.com.au. Well, he might have won, but at least I didn't have to cheat. Did I, Roscoe? After the break, I'm with this week's Asanda celebrity hitchhiker, Olympian Lydia Lassila. She's with me next, thanks to Asanda on Zoom TV. And he is old. I had to respect him. Welcome back to Zoom TV to my favourite segment, the Celebrity Hitchhiker. In the temporary Zoomobile, the brand new Suzuki Swift Sport, this week brought to you by Asanda. Now, hopefully I can find this person because I'm still in Melbourne, Victoria, and I have no idea where I am, but I think this could be her. Lydia Lassila. Oh, thanks for stopping. Well, do you want to lift? You look very, very hot out there. It's pretty hot out here. I'd okay. love one. Well, it's cool in here. How about you get in the back, answer my questions, I'll take you where you want to go. Sure, OK. So Lydia, welcome to the back of the new Zoomobile, the Suzuki Swift Sport. How are you doing? I'm very well. Much better now in the shade. <laughs> it's so hot out here. <laughs> Melbourne's got hot weather. It is very hot. In the summer. Now, now you're like me. You were over for the launch of the Suzuki Swift. You've gone for your lap. How'd you go? I think I did pretty good. I wasn't sure quite on the time that I got, but uh, I felt fast. Now you've been to three uh, Olympic Games. You're a world record holder uh, and the current gold medalist. Yep. How does that feel? Um, look, uh, there's more I want to achieve in my sport. It's great to have one gold medal down down already and world record and there's a bit more I want to do and I'm not satisfied yet. Now Lydia, the Summer Olympic Games, everyone knows about them, but the Winter Olympic Games in Australia really aren't that much known, are they? Yeah, they're more unique. Okay, so to get what you've got and get the sponsorship and make a living must have been pretty hard. Yeah, it's not easy. Um, Summer Olympics are obviously more popular in Australia and Winter Olympics are watched every four years. But other than that, it's, you know, it's pretty difficult for us to gain profile in this country. But I started out in gymnastics and wanted to do a different sport and got picked up by the Olympic Winter Institute who were, who were looking for ex-gymnasts to see if they could turn into aerial skiers. And I put my hand up and 
you know what, I love skiing, I love what I do, and I'm just happy to be doing it, and I uh, want to go for another fourth Olympics. What's the lineup of your year to keep your sport at the top? Well, we travel a lot. I mean, I'm on the road nine, ten months a year, so we try and chase the snow in areas, we ski here in our domestic season, and a lot of overseas training. We practice a lot on what's called a water ramp, so we train uh, off an artificial surface, go off jumps and land and do our flips into a swimming pool. So <laughs> that's how we learn everything and, and get them ready for snow. Okay, Lydia, it's time for the Asanda Fast Five questions. Are you ready? I'm ready. They're pretty deep. Okay, the first one is, what was your first car? Holden Astra. First car, straight, you know, in university, and it's been passed through the family and everyone drives it, still alive, <laughs> and we'll drive it till it dies, I suppose. There you go. <laughs> what is your opinion of the worst car on the street and why? Oh, I think those Tiranas are still around. And oh, they just, really? They just annoy me and... <gasps> Do you drive one? No, I love them. They're <laughs> awesome. They've got to work on their self-image, those two runners. <laughs> Moving on, OK. What is your opinion of the best car on the street and why? Well, I think the Suzuki Grand Vitara is just amazing. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Suits my lifestyle perfectly. <laughs> now, what car do you currently drive? I drive a Suzuki Grand Vitara. There you go. I had to get the plug. <laughs> the last question, what is your greatest fear? My greatest fear? I think it's dying. I know it's dark, but... That's what I'm probably most scared of. That's a pretty fair fear, Lydia, but it's not going to happen because you've got to get me back to Melbourne because I have no idea where we are. Oh, awesome. Great. And we're done. Now, before we go, don't forget, we're on the hunt for Zoomaholics. That's people with cool things that drive, fly or float. So if you've got a cool car, bike, boat, jet ski, chopper or plane, we'd love to hear from you. Make your video between one and two minutes long, upload it to YouTube, then send the link to I'm a Zoomaholic at zoomtv.com.au and help us share your passion, people. Now, until next week, bye for now. Thanks for watching. And remember, whatever you do that Zooms, make sure you do it safe. And that's a wrap.